the purpose of this video is to take a look at the effects of air pressure. Um, to understand this demonstration, you need to understand what causes air pressure. Um, air pressure is caused by uh, the collision of gas particles or air particles with a surface. Um, they hit that surface, they exert a force, and that force, the cumulative effect of all the millions upon millions of collisions that happen every fraction of a second, is what produces air pressure or atmospheric pressure. Um, I have another video that gives you a little bit more in-depth look at atmospheric pressure and the units that we use to measure gas pressure. Um, so check that out. It's called the can pressure demonstration. But I do have on the board here just to note that today's atmospheric pressure is right around 100 kilopascals, so 100,000 pascals of pressure, um, which actually is a, a very significant amount of pressure. We, we don't notice it so much because it's kind of like background noise. It's always there. Our bodies are adapted to live under this uh, fairly large atmospheric pressure, and so we don't really notice it unless we can create a difference in pressure. So if you can get a different pressure on one side of a barrier, sometimes you can see the effects of that large atmospheric pressure that we experience every day. And that's what I'm gonna to try to do with this demonstration. So I have some round bottom flasks. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of water inside, a little layer of water. And then I'm gonna heat these on the hot plate. The water should begin to boil, begin to vaporize. And that water vapor should push out some of the air. Keep this one aside. Push out some of the air that's inside the flask. And the other thing that should happen to the air inside the flask, the air and water vapor, is that it's going to be heated, meaning those gas particles are going to be moving faster than they would when they were a little bit cooler. And then what I'll do is once we get that air and water vapor heated up to a significant amount inside the flask is I'm going to seal the flask with a balloon and we should see something interesting happen um, as the air then cools back to normal temperature. The trick on this is to get the balloon on kind of quickly and not burn your fingers because the glassware is going to be hot. So I can hear, hear and see the boiling inside. You might be able to see the water vapor rising out of the flasks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down a little bit. And they're about ready. Pretty warm. All right, I think I'm gonna try this first one. Sealed. I'm just going to let it sit and cool on its own. Give this one another one. It's hot. Cool just a bit. This one I'm actually going to turn upside down in the ring stand. start to notice here the balloon has collapsed as the gases inside cool down some of the water vapor condenses back to a liquid state the gas pressure inside is going to be less than atmospheric pressure and we can see that atmospheric pressure on the outside is now pushing down into the balloon and kind of blowing it up in reverse and this one goes Still some water in there from when it was boiling. It'll continue to cool. It might end up bursting. I'm a little worried about this one. I'm going to actually take it off. I can see that the balloon is really thinning out. I'm afraid that the balloon might actually burst. I'm gonna try that with this one next. I think I'm gonna 
pump some of the water out and then seal it with the balloon. Balloon broke on me. bring this up a little bit closer. It's still quite warm, so it might still continue. But what you can see is the balloon has been forced down into the flask because by cooling that pressure that was inside, lowering the air pressure inside, and I just saw the green one move up into the flask, um, that atmospheric pressure, all those particles hitting the inside of the balloon and blowing it up down into the flask. And that will continue as this cools. This is still quite warm. So the, the uh, gas particles inside are still moving pretty fast. As they continue to cool and slow down, the pressure in here will even <laughs> drop less. And the purple one actually just burst. I saw it coming because I could see that it was starting to thin out. It was enough actually because the balloon kind of got caught on the inside that that large pressure on the outside of the flask was enough to rupture the balloon. Now over here on the green one, I wanted to do this upside down just to show that air pressure doesn't just act downwards. It acts sideways, it acts upwards. Any surface that has air in contact with it is going to experience that air pressure. And so this again, as it cools, we should actually see the green balloon go up even further into the flask. And that'll take some time. Eventually, it should end up looking like the yellow one.